Hey, what's up you beautiful feckers? How you all doing? So the Dauntless Founders Alpha is right around the corner and the guys at Phoenix Labs were awesome enough to let me record and show off some of its combat to you guys. It is of course tech alpha footage, so bear that in mind. A lot can change before the game actually goes live. Now the combat in Dauntless at its core isn't very complicated, but it is challenging. You see, there are no crazy combo moves needed to kill a behemoth or invulnerability phases or overcomplicated mechanics. Phoenix Labs have decided that the skill of the hunt should lie with your weapons and you, the hunter, knowing when to attack, when to pull off your combo moves, but also know when to back off and wait for your window of opportunity. I guess if you're a Bloodborne or Dark Souls fan then this type of combat should be very familiar to you, along with managing your stamina and consumables like your health pots. Now from my time in the tech alpha over the last few weeks and months, I've been finding that the combat is very very satisfying and there is a nice balance to it as well. Whether you've decided to try and hunt these things solo or if you're working together in a squad of four, trying to take down one of these huge beasts is intense fun, especially if one of your squad mates or two of them get put down and need to be revived because these behemoths can then catch you while you're trying to revive a fallen hunter and then of course panic will set in. Or if you overextend and get excited and swing your melee weapon one too many times then you're going to get caught and punished and against an enraged behemoth it's going to hurt a lot. And that's something that will happen, some of these behemoths are huge and getting too close to them at the wrong time can lead to you taking a huge hit. Just look at how we fared against a Drask in the recent Tech Alpha. Granted we were a little bit undergeared and unprepared but he whooped our asses several hunts in a row and he even corpse camped one or two times and wouldn't let us revive so it did get pretty damn hectic. Now in Dauntless it's going to be your weapons and your armor that will define the type of hunter that you want to be. The weapons determine your abilities so there is no skill trees for your actual character, there's no character leveling up or character specific abilities. The developers want the focus point to be about your weapons and your armor. And right now in the alpha there is only four of these weapons. There is of course the sword, the axe, the hammer and the dual blades, the chain blades. But there are multiple different variants for each of these weapons which can be crafted by killing certain behemoths. Each one then having a different trait or elemental effect. For example killing an emberman and collecting enough of his components will allow you to craft an emberman sword or armor. Killing a Scrave, which is the huge icy version of the Shrike, which is of course the Owl Behemoth, will allow you to craft his armor or weapon. Or killing a Nasher, you'll get the Nasher version, or a Shrike version, a Drask version, and so on. You get the gist. Which means you will need to farm certain Behemoths in order to get their full set of armor and weapons, and then again farm them to level those weapons and armor up into the higher tiers. Now learning each of the Behemoths tells is pretty much key in Dauntless. Knowing what they're about to do will give you the chance to either cut them up or run for your life. The tells are a huge part to each hunt. For instance, knowing that a Shrike is about to re and screech will give you a chance to hit him a few times before he leaps back into action. Or when Nasher is about to roll or when Emberman does his kind of mortar attack, he will jump backwards a few times so you can then time it to stand exactly where he's about to land to get a few hits off. Don't expect to be able to just run in all Leroy Jenkins and try and mash your face across the keyboard in an attempt to kill the beast because then you just become its dinner. Honestly, some of these behemoths are absolutely nuts to fight against, especially when you progress later on past, I guess, the baby ones, the betas, the ones we get to fight when you first begin in Dauntless, like the blue Emberman that you're seeing in footage, which is just a young Emberman. He doesn't breathe fire or launch those big fireball attacks at you like a fully grown Emberman, so be ready for that once you finally engage any fully grown one. And after you finally vanquish or kill a fully grown Emberman and craft all of his armor and his weapon, then there may or may not be a much harder version for you to fight further down the progression. I guess you're just going to have to jump into the game and see. Now Defenders Alpha is on the 18th of this month to the 30th I believe and the link to that program is of course in this video's description if you want to join up. Now if you want to take part in the actual Founders Alpha I believe you have to get the highest Founders tier available but the game is going to be 100% free to play with no pay to win option when it finally gets released so rejoice for that and hopefully I'll get to hunt with some of you guys in Dawn once I eventually set my guild up, once that becomes a feature. Now, I might actually upload my full Drask fight where we got our asses absolutely kicked by it. If you guys want to see it, let me know in the comment section below. Do me a favor and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, or don't if you didn't. Subscribe for more Dauntless, and as always, thanks very much for watching. <laughs>